Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Renault Clio. This is the top spec, the E-Tech engineered. In this video, we're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details and without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the gorgeous Renault Clio E-Tech engineered. This is the top spec you can get and the strongest hybrid version. So this is the 1.6 liter to recharge four cylinder petrol engine linked with the electric motor and producing 140 horsepower that's system horsepower. This is the most you can get uh, in Clio and it's linked to zero speed automatic. Now, uh, let me show you the key fob before we head to the car. So old key fob, black and white, old badge. And over here you have the lock, unlock. You can unlock the cargo, turn on the headlights. This is keyless entry. The key fob is very light. Now, if we unlock the car, you can see the mirrors unfold and you saw the turn signals, you can see the LED headlights. We also have cornering LED fog lights. Now, uh, I know at this moment when I'm releasing the video, uh, there is already a facelift that's published. So this is the fifth generation and it's a 2023 model. So the new facelift of the front is gonna come in 2024 or end of this year, but it's a 2024 model year. So this is currently what we have in salons that won't arrive until end of the year. So we're gonna be focusing on this model because I think this looks really, really nice. Uh, it looks like the RS line, but this is the E-Tech Engineer and then you get the strongest uh, powered or at least horsepower version. Let's uh, come a little bit closer, check the details. I love the creases. And I really love the Clio in general. It's a very stylish uh, and aerodynamic looking car. Now, I already reviewed the LPG model, so I'm just gonna run through the differences. But standard LED headlights on the top, and uh, these are daytime running lights and LED projectors. You saw the uh, turn signal inside and the LED projectors. So I've mentioned LED fog lights are cornering. It's an option. So we have also on the side here, illumination. We have the Renault signature there and nice 3D details inside the headlights. Now over here we have the blue metallic color and it matches nicely this black and gold accents. <clears throat> we also have 360 parking sensors option in this car. And uh, in the E-Tech Engineer, you get those gold accents on the alloys. You also get that uh, skirt there. Now, Checking the front, like the RS line, this is blacked out and the badge is black, so it kind of looks sporty as well. You have the air intake on the top and at the bottom, you can see how they've nicely integrated the parking sensors there. And huge thanks to Renault Croatia for giving me the car for a review. And over here, we have the radar for cruise distance and emergency braking. Now backing up so you can see the whole car, once again with the headlights looks very sporty and slightly mean. And you can see the uh, side tunneling on the sides there for better aerodynamics. Now, moving here, very stylish little sport hatchback. Now, let's come to the front. So we have lane assist camera and light and rain sensor on the top. Uh, washers are, I'm not sure if the camera can get this, over here, have three of them on each nozzle. And over here is the alloy, so beautiful design. We have this, it's sort of like a diamond cut, but we have like gray on black with this gold accents. And you can see the car locked itself. So easy entry, so yeah, anyways, uh, 205, 45, R17, uh, you can spec uh, lower, like 16 as well. I'm gonna show you the sticker inside the doors. So this car came from factory with Continental Eco Contact 6, a very good tire. And over here we have black accents and on the side, on the driver door, we have the sticker E-Tech engineered hybrid technology. Inside is a 1.2 kilowatt hour battery so that's the capacity there and uh, well if we unlock the car so 
let me show you here now i've moved so the car locked itself when i entered the geofence zone it unlocks so we have the uh, black metallic side contrasting mirrors we have a long turning signal and we have here a 360 uh, camera now i did forgot to show you the front camera obviously because it's under the badge and it's nicely like blending in because you don't notice it at first so there it is didn't forget that now uh, let's back up from the car check the profile very elegant Clio and I really love this blue color you can see it on this kind of cloudy slightly sunny day it looks very gorgeous love the alloys and the gold accents and then over here you can see the black and gold skirt at the bottom now tinted rear windows uh, driver handle here has a little plastic here you can pop this there's a physical cylinder key cylinder behind this in case you deplete your 12 volt battery and over here you can see the blind spot and blind spot in the mirror itself on the rear we have this type of door handles we're going to come back to that when we get inside and you can see the shark fin antenna in black some aerodynamic details as well and over here on the back we have uh, disc brakes and I think it's the same tire dimension so I'm not sure if this is actually gold it looks like it might be so I think they've painted the calipers on the back actually I didn't quite focus on the front calipers you know they're silver so maybe that's just for the uh, brake dust there now checking the back of the car um, looks like Clio very stylish not much uh, details on the back uh, we have the gold accents and the black badge so it's you know not too shabby we have the beautiful LED taillights so if you use the remote I can show you the lights there so you can see them from the side and you can see C shape and inside it's all LED and if we unlock you can see inside there's a bulb for the turn signals now backing up you can see the car keeps locking or unlocking checking the rear it looks sporty and you have this a nice you know black diffuser on the bottom with the gold accent cat eyes and exhaust is down there you can see it now um, badge the camera black Clio and E-Tech hybrid badge now interesting they decided to put this at the bottom on the Clio so LED lights white you're gonna be, see that in separate video if you want to see the night uh, but over here you press car unlocks the rear boot and let's back up so you can see the whole car now I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet just for comparison you can see that opens nice and tall now inside here we have 301 liters and 979 liters of cargo space if you knock down the seats they knock down 60 40 so it's a very practical compact little city car on the top you can here pull to manually close we have rubber stoppers there you can remove the top shelf also rubber stoppers and you can put a longer umbrella here so that's practical now over here on the right you have warm light you have grocery hooks on both ends and this is pretty much closed as you can see there are tether points there and inside there so there are four on each side and you also have top tether points for the uh, isofix if you have kids on the left uh, without the light and well over here is like five and then maybe three or like four so maybe nine or eight fingers of height and let me show you here so in Croatia here we have a first aid box emergency triangle spare bulbs so if I take this up you can see inside you get a spare wheel and also has this kind of cage and uh well they've placed a really tall uh fire extinguisher so this is a bit uh not flat 
when I let it go down in here, you have everything you need to change the tire. So this is slightly up. In Croatia, it's mandatory to have a fire extinguisher. I think they could have bought a smaller one, but it doesn't matter. And on the top, you have the stoplight, a little washer nozzle integrated there for the rear wiper. And of course, to show you here, petrol heads. Um, this is your fuel cap, so recommended is 98, minimum 95. So you push that to the side, you can open it, and then you can hang this here so it doesn't flap here and uh, do damage on your clear coat. So that's it. Pretty sure this locks when the car is locked. So there you go, that's how the car looks. Very elegant looking. Now let's get on the back here. So good closing sound. Doors open fairly wide, and let's check here. We have double seals, seal going in there, and another seal going here. Now you can see the inside. I love this gray roof. Now on the back here, hard plastic, same as in the front. A little saving there, and here have. Well, this is plastic. If it looks nice and chromey, big handles. Uh, Roman 5 here means this is a factory tint, just note if you're buying a used car. And here, this is soft, this is soft, so this is kind of carbon fiber imitation. Power windows, this is kind of small, but you can put a water bottle there. Uh, this doesn't look like a speaker, just imitation. There's a, one speaker on the bottom here. And now, checking the seats here. So, we reviewed the Captor recently, the E-Tech version so over here you can see the gold and white stitches on leather inside it's textile it looks very nice and here you have the isofix points uh, this hole here opening is when you actually close the door the air needs to exit somewhere so you have them there and there and uh, on the top you can get these up press down to lower them and we get these original uh, all weather floor mats they have the spikes so they do not move as much but i think it's not adequate in this case they still kind of move back and forward slightly now let's jump inside so once again two meter tall person and you can see if i'm sitting on the front it's a little bit limited for your knees but i think i could survive and for an average person it should be okay here you have big pockets. Now this has a plastic frame, but it's covered all by leather, so it looks very nice. Uh, no air vents or USBs on the back, unfortunately. And this is the view. So you have a nice big window, nothing in the C-pillar. And it's okay overview in the back because it's close, but not too narrow, it's okay. Once again, I love this gray finish. Now on the rear and the driver's side, they've then placed handles on the top. Only the front passenger has them. I'm not sure if this is like a shortage, but it's plastic, so I don't think so. And over here you have lights, the doors are open, so they're on, cold LED lights. And over here you can uh, raise this. As you can see that, and you can just press here to lower it. So Volvo light design, nice headrest. Let's hear the closing sound. Slow. Okay, closing sound, there's a slight rattle. I'm not sure if the microphone is picking it up, but it's okay for Clio standard. And over here, you can adjust the seat belt. Now, moment of truth. Yeah, it's obviously a tight headspace for a tall person such as myself. But if you're an average, uh, well, you'll be touching with your hair maybe, but uh, I think you would be okay. So it is a little bit a compact car, less headspace on the back. But this is a car you're gonna be driving on the front and maybe having kids on the back. So let's be honest, it's okay. And over here, uh, view at the front, we have gold accents for the E-Tech engineer. Let's get on the front. So once again, nothing here or there and no uh, hooks on the B pillar or the top for your shirts. So 
maybe they could add that little details wouldn't hurt they're not that expensive so you saw this now moving to the front good opening and closing sound now someone already scratched the b pillars yeah piano black not that favorite get that welcome sound and you can see the front doors open super wide so watch out when you're parking not to hit other people's car and over here you can see same seals now uh, over here check your tire pressure so on this model you have the 17 inch you can spec the 16 inch maybe because of the calipers uh, i think they were in clear like three dimensions but that's it maybe in the really base models you get like 15 inch but check your tire pressure once a month and hard plastic same design and it's all padded here so you can adjust the mirrors electronically fold them all power and when the car is on you can lock the rear for the kids now you can see a water bottle can fit here so it's decent kind of plasticky but well designed so you know your water bottle won't be flying to the rear speaker there <clears throat> and have this nice detail e-tech engineered so i like it kind of gray finish there and sport paddles also uh floor mats now on the driver end you can clip them in so they don't move back and forward this is how it looks underneath i'm gonna pop the bonnet at the end of the video there's a speaker there you can see that and manual seats so push up to slide back and forward push up or down to raise the seat and push up to tilt the seat also gold and white uh, contrast stitching leather plus textile and no lumbar support but the bolsters are very big now i didn't drive this car to be honest too far so i'm gonna sit, tell you at my night review um you know are the seats comfortable enough now steering column is manual you can see that view at the top and let's jump inside okay switching to wide lens now closing sound was very good the soundproof is good i can hear that car's engine slightly but it's okay we're gonna see today but uh there's gonna be separated point of view driving we're not talking it is a little bit windy you can see on the trees so we're gonna see how this performs now beautiful point of view and a little note now in the facelift model is gonna come with a new redesigned front end they've kept the old interior i was expecting them to uh you know put from the megan e-tech and astral the new infotainment the new dash new steering wheel but it looks like they've I'm gonna keep this so if you're getting this model and you're not super excited about the front redesign this will be a good bargain now zooming back in checking the steering wheel here we have a well leather a little texture there perforated on the sides um, well slightly flat bottom maybe slightly flat top as well and we have the gold accents around the badge and e therefore engineered or e-tech and over here already classical probably know this so you have the speed limiter cruise control you press set and then you go up and down for the speed you can press here to reset that uh, you have the light controls keep them on automatic and uh, you can of course i think push it to get the automatic long beam now over here you have the voice commands phone calls uh, you have the uh, menus you can have different views here and then you can get inside the menu with these arrows and the ok button uh, wipers this is for the rear one and then a droplet size and they're automatic so just push up once uh, or to wipe or down this is the automatic this is the zero and then down you have the speeds now over here we have a blank we have the light height control we have the uh illumination brightness there you can see that maybe not in this light and over here have the lane assist on or off this is 
slightly padded but and this is as well so it's okay and over here you have the gold accent this is closed or open uh, there's another one blowing to the side there there's a little uh, window there but still this is a blind spot the same as this huge basil around this camera so i think this is too wide they've kind of exaggerated all all of that and then this is creating a blind spot on the traffic light now uh moving here in the a pillars this is dark so part of the Gita engineer they have the speaker in the a pillar this is nicely designed and then you have these air vents on the sides they're connected and this carbon fiber imitation uh, screen here vertical you have the start stop engine we have the blanks here now we have the ev mode you can only drive up to 50 kilometers fully electric and then over here we have the driving modes or the my sense we have the hazards unfortunately you can't see the hazards from the driver perspective you can only see it in the dash you can lock the car so it locks when you start driving uh, self-parking and cameras now on the bottom we have ac controls nice physical controls you can press this one i'm going to come back to that but just to show you here we have the ac close air circulation front low max it engages the rear defrost or you can just engage the rear defrost separately and here is 12 volt outlet aux in to usb a's and we have a wireless charger for your phone with rubber mats so that's a nice touch there nice leather on the automatic stick there is a like a little button here you can see that to move to park reverse neutral or drive and there's a separated b so for recuperation now uh, this is padded you saw the ambient light there it's the only ambient light inside so you know when you touch here it's not that bad and the lpg model this plastic was making a lot of sounds and this one it's kind of okay uh, electronic parking brake auto hold a uh, great feature when you're on a stoplight and here you can put your key fob and over here we have shutter for the adjustable cup holders this is plastic actually and they're adjustable so not too shabby and well on the front you have the isofix here you have the uh, back latch underneath the seat now let me show you here slowly opening glove compartment uh, plain plastic there have some space there now let me show you the spec sheet here from croatia so renault clio e-tech engineered 145 hybrid so this is the official horsepower version i think i've mentioned at the beginning of the video 140 now i'm going to put a link in the video description <clears throat> i think it's a uk measurement so kind of five horsepower less but doesn't matter official is 145 now base price 27,000 euros 290 and there are a few options like uh, active safety uh, blind spot and rear traffic alert 350 euros uh, illumination package and uh, automatic long beam led cornering fog lights 300 euros city uh, 360 camera system and parking aids 550 and here we have the uh, spare wheel 110 and uh, metallic rqh blue iron color 590 euros so it comes to 29,000 euros 190 so yes it's almost 30,000 euros this is in croatia with 25 percent value added tax and uh, co2 tax based uh, system so also on the bottom is croatian kuna price almost 220,000 kunas now croatia has adopted euro so in the first year we still have a uh, dual currency markings you get this uh, manuals there's a really big uh, and long space inside there is also a nice warm light so let me just put all of that back in there and yeah not to forget so the seats look and feel really sporty with this big bolsters we're gonna see 
later how comfortable they are you can extend this and you can just pull this up there's a deep but kind of very uh, narrow deep space inside uh, on the top we have baseless mirror uh, it's a nice overview in the back also good overview through the side mirrors and uh, if you're taller person you can see the bonnet there but again this is kind of blind spot issues and that um, yeah airbag information is there you have the uh, LED lights emergency call there once again I just love this contrast black and gray uh, documents holder and here you have the privacy mirror with a light that turns on when you open the flap and over here this does not cover this area so this sun shining and this is not extending so here this so there's kind of this rattle sound when you close this so very shallow on the top now let's turn on the car so press the brake you turn it on the brake the press is inside now um yeah you're gonna have some ac on so it's not that hot but still could use some ventilation now i'm gonna lower the fan speed here so it's not too loud now let's focus on this i've already covered all of this in the uh, lpg model so if you want to see the details browse that in the channel i'm just gonna go quickly through this so uh, there is a little bit of glare not too terrible in person but there is glare uh, we have here very nice uh, graphics very colorful so over here you can change with this little arrows up and down you can see here nothing consumption journey type pressure oil change or service interval and over here on the this you can press here to change radio stations you can swipe to maps you can swipe to compass and like uh, suites and over here you can have the my sense you can see the energy flow how green you're driving your average fuel consumption now I haven't reset this and this is quite good fuel consumption or you can have here nothing and uh, if you change driving modes so let me just show you those actually i need to turn on the screen so this is like the um what's it called standby screens you have the time temperature date you can press here and okay so now the infotainment comes on let me just mute this so this is the infotainment when i come back to it so you press here you have the my sense so this is like the normal this is the sport and this is the eco so you're gonna see here the screen changes so you can have the sport view and you have the my sense of course you can customize these uh, however you like uh, this is flashing only in on the camera not in person so don't worry about that so just to show you here driving modes you can change the steering to comfort regular or sport uh, besides the comfort every other setting is super stiff and precise uh, it is what it is you can also see here the cut of the car but like the inside mechanics parts cluster so over here you have the regular sport you can see all of those comfort and then you have the eco so i'm going to keep it in uh regular and uh you can change here the lights so you can control the brightness the only light is around the stick shift um so you can turn it on or off and you can choose the color if you change the color then it changes the uh, display option there so you can see that i'm going to show the ambient color and the separate video so the car switched it off because it wasn't driving it's just kind of uh power saving mode now um to cover the screen here we have the navigation on the top it's nice and beautiful you have different views you see your route to north it's fairly fast um and then here you have the points of interest and so on so i'm not going to go into detail for this there's a home menu there uh, i have radio settings so let me show you some radio and turn down the sound oh something wrong with the reception on this one I should be dancing. 
I can't play it for too long. Now, I honestly haven't played with the speakers, but uh, it sounds okay. So after playing with the bass, middle, and treble, I gotta say the speakers are actually quite good, especially the bass. Listen to this. You got what you came for, baby, now you want it more. Can't play it for too long, not to get a copyright strike, but it's pretty hey, solid. So these are the standard speakers, and here you have your phone if you connect it, you have here my sense, uh, you have safe seats here, so follow distance, two seconds warning, active braking, blind spot, lane assist, and traffic uh, speed recognition. And over here, uh, navigation, uh, so, excuse me, uh, apps, here, here, radio, navigation, music, so music you have uh, multiple sources, USB or Wi-Fi, um applications so you can watch video or photos car information over here we have the driving eco so i haven't reset anything of this so this is the car that would pass 250 kilometers average speed is, i guess 34 fuel consumption is 5.1 and power consumption is 5.8 kilowatts so you can see that uh, not the best green score uh, I might reset that on my night point of view driving review and over here you can see that like that uh, you can see all the metric data as well like that total recuperated energy 13 kilowatts uh, it's also pretty good and uh, you can see here the flow when you're driving you see the cut of the car so the battery is in the rear you can see the petrol motor electric motor and how uh, the energy is flowing when you're using either petrol or hybrid so the system works for you you don't have to worry about it it's all automatic and um tire pressure there i think this will show this and so settings here have the driving assistance which showed you parking assistance uh 360 cameras i'm going to show you that as well don't worry multi-sense it's another shortcut and car configuration Turn indicators, middle, low, high, accessories, and welcome. Over here, you can just press to reset. Uh, here you have also volume options. I always forget this because, yeah, French cars have this for the volume. You can press both of them to mute. There's like mode, sources, and this, this is for changing radio stations. Um, actually use that more than I never use a touchscreen here and system here you have the display options uh, looks like the brightness sound options so you have launch neutral club live uh, natural I haven't played with this to be honest so you can see that middle triple bass so actually let's just let's mute it now I think I've changed the source so you can have this differently so probably the sound will be slightly better voice phone so for the navigation you have like female or male voice you have languages here so those that have this speaker you can use uh, the voice commands for those and that's it um QWERTY or alphabetic keyboard for navigation and so on and that's pretty much it so let's not dive too much in there there's a, multiple users if it's a family or a company car so you can have your presets and here you have like notifications and so on so that was the the whole car let me just turn it on for a moment so our ac I'm not sure if the petrol is going to engage just to show the cameras here as well good you have this lanes for the backing when you approach a wall the camera switches to the top view it's really good so we have here also you can see that so it's pretty practical uh, you have this with the parking 360 uh, you can go to settings and brings you to that menu so it's pretty good so let me just once again here if I go to reverse you can see that if I go to neutral excuse me drive uh, it's you can push it back to B so you have to press again to push it to B for recuperation mode um, so this is the front camera and then the reverse camera. Um, also, you can use 
uh, Apple CarPlay. I haven't plugged it in. You need to use the cable, I think, for the first time. I forgot, maybe it's even wireless, actually. Uh, I, I think it was wireless. So I'm gonna plug it later. I didn't plug it because it interrupts my filming sometimes, so uh, you won't have that problem because we won't be using your camera while driving, obviously. And uh, let's switch it off. So that was it. Yeah, I think I might have forgot to show you, but this is the front headspace, so very uh, spacious. On the front, it's never an issue. And let's pop the bonnet. So I hope the video is not too long because I did cover the Clio very detailly. I did mostly cover everything now, although I said I wouldn't be too detailed. Now, uh, left side of the badge underneath, push to the left. There's a bonnet uh, there. You have to use a little leg if you want to keep it open. You can see, push the yellow thing to the left. And here's your, as you can see, four cylinder. Again, 1.6 liter to recharge petrol engine. And there's your electric motor. Um, the yellow thing is your washer fluid. And there's a sign here not to wash your engine bay. Uh, actually, two signs with pressure washer. You can use like a, uh, you know, uh, cloth, wet cloth or microfiber towel to clean the engine bay. If you're one of those people who like to have it clean, I am one of those people. Let it drop, closes perfectly. So, you know. Uh, I gotta say, very nice uh, design on the E-Tech Engineered. I love it, and it doesn't drive bad. It's heavier because of the battery, and the car feels more sportier on the road. It's super stable, so more on that in the night point of view review. So everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, give this video a like. Helps me a lot with the algorithm. Also, leave a comment below, how do you like the E-Tech Engineered Clio? And I hope to see you in the next video. If you do like this content, do subscribe. It's completely free. Click the bell to get notified when I upload more reviews and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.